Well, hi, welcome to another video. I've got three things going for me this evening. First of all, it's the longest day. It's the 21st of June. Just fishing around for the second thing. <laughs> yeah, it's officially summer, 1st of June. What are we now? It's about 10 past eight, but it feels like it's four o'clock in the afternoon. So that's two things, a late night or the longest day, summer's day, and I've got the POV, I've got the GoPro on the chest, <laughs> I'll have to do it that way so that you can see it, um, and Euros are on, Netherlands play football tonight with France, so if I walk over to the Harbour Arm, they may have live football on, so I'll get some what I think to be dynamic kind of people shots. So the object tonight is street photography on the harbour arm, but if anything else takes my fancy, then I'll take a snap of that as well. Um, I'm gonna go in shutter priority, and I am gonna shoot at 1 25th of a second with auto ISO, so I don't have to think about much. Um, I can use the exposure compensation if things are too bright. But... So yeah, I'm just gonna walk and talk if I want to. <laughs> and take some snaps so come along so what am i going to expect i'm going to expect people <laughs> people and things it's summer evening isn't it nice shot <laughs> tide is out So all the boats are leaning to one side. Yeah, I don't know, should I? I'm technically going to walk all the way down the harbour arm and see, see what's what, see, see what's happening. But if I can see some shots of people, then yeah, I'll take some shots. And I'll probably just edit it so that, you know, one minute I'm here, the next minute I'm over there, that kind of thing. That's the beauty of this kind of POV photography. I can just leave the GoPro running and if I see something fascinating, I can take a shot of it. I might get the um, DJI out of my pocket. That's nice. I'm looking at the harbour. be a square crop isn't it I can hear football going on I wonder if we'll have any um, foreign nationals attending the football match you know Netherlands du Dutch or French people that live here so we're heading to the goods yard it's called the goods yard you can hear the music already getting ready for the football Will I get copyright issues? It's not football at all. What's the film? The Last Night or something? I don't think I've ever seen it. But with all these people, all transfixed, you knew me! I can get some street photography down. Let me get the camera ready then. Am I going to get some copyright issues?
What's here? We've got some eateries. I was anticipating a football match, but they're all here to watch a movie. Okay, let's take a walk down the harbour arm. I've obviously got a captive audience with all those people there, so I might pop back there shortly and just take lots and lots of pictures. I'm not sure about the harbour arm though, because um, the, the, what do you call that merry-go-round isn't working. There's nobody at the bars there. I was sat at home. I was thinking, you know, longest day, 21st of June, there's bound to be loads of people out <laughs> and there are lots of people out maybe it's a case of just milling around the um, eatery area there and see if I can get a lot of shots ah actually looking ahead there I can see a lot of people on the harbour arm so I'm just going to walk all the way down to the lighthouse and then along the top see if I can capture some people because that's street photography right <laughs> good show cloud covering up the sun. Is that going to be here for the rest of the evening? There's a bit of a halo thing going on there. Can you see the different colours of the the vapour in the cloud? Lady DJs. Looks like they're packing away. Okay, I think we're going to walk down to the lighthouse. There's the little French bistro bar thing there. Might get some surreptitious pictures there. What a shame. Typical, it's been cloudless all day long. And then we get that wispy cloud. Wouldn't be so bad if it was over there and we still had the blue sky. Well, that could be a good picture. There's a tricycle with a blackboard on it. Quaint or antiquated? Antiquated? Just random. What does that say? An empty table with a candle on it. I capture it without the chairs. He missed his date. She didn't turn up. to the light, lighthouse. Do I incorporate the ceiling? Let's get past this orange thing. See if I can get a shot. Might be a case of getting down off the slope. The 
folks inside. It's a good thing just sitting here at ISO Auto and shutter priority with 1 25th of a second. I've got enough light for this kind of photography. I was expecting a football match on the big screen. It's so annoying that they've just got a movie on there. I will research it and I'll have them um, put it on the screen. I know it's Heath Ledger, is it? Not Heath Ledger. Gosh, I don't even know who's in it. Never watched it. Just that guy, that English actor. See, I thought I could get a shot of it from here, but we've got a wheelie bin and I don't like the look of the wheelie bin. It's just boring. If I go down a little, leading line into the lighthouse, how about that? Maybe I can do it after the wheelie bin. That's the answer. Take it after the wheelie bin, but then zoom out to 24 mil, which is the minimum on my lens. And I'm so oh, another wheelie bin. And then we've got the barrel and the chairs. Yeah, that kind of works, doesn't it? I'm going to go up the stairs. I think they closed it. I can't believe it. I walk all the way down and they've padlocked the gates. So if I want to walk on the top, I've got to go all the way back. I could climb over, couldn't I? <laughs> Let's just take a few shots of people from up here then. It's good being up here. Because people don't know I'm taking a picture of them. I like the colour of the beers. Let's get them first, then I'll zoom in for the beers. Can not see a beer, mate? I can't see if it's in focus, it's driving me crazy. Got my sunnies on. That's a good portrait for that. There you go, there's the channel for you. France, somewhere that way. Dungeness down there, Portsmouth, Portland Bill, down there somewhere. <laughs> America, over there. <laughs> Ooh, look at that, Martello Tower. If I can zoom in, that might make a good composition. I don't normally get it from this angle. Sitting in the sun. That's it close up. That's it with the um, aspect of the sea. I'm going to have to walk back. What a pain. I wanted to go up the top there. Okay, the clouds are gone, as you can see. So I've got a lovely wash of light coming through on the harbour arm here. I might actually get something. I think what we'll do, we'll head back and then I'll mill around the restaurant area and see if I can get something. I can hear cheering now. Folkestone, and why not? I wouldn't say it's my hometown. I live in a, a, a triangle that's 
equidistant to Canterbury, Dover and Folkestone. But I'm always drawn to Folkestone because my kids live here. And it has more to offer for a street photographer, I think. Although having said that, Canterbury's not so bad if you're walking up and down the high street. Right, let's move on. <laughs> I just had to Google it. A Knight's Tale. That's the movie that's playing, isn't it? Who is in it? Cast, Heath Ledger, Paul Bettany, Rufus Sewell, Mark Addy, and uh, loads of others. A Knight's Tale, that's what's playing. It's not football at all. The Little Greek Bus. They're big on lamb, aren't they, Greeks? I don't do lamb. It's a funny thing, when I first started vlogging and when I first really started taking photography seriously, I'd be out and I'd shoot absolutely everything. Oh, that post looks interesting. Oh, that jetty looks interesting. Oh, look at that rock. That looks, you know, snap, 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 snap. Here I am, since lockdown 2020, when I started doing all of this stuff seriously, and I'm really selective now. <laughs> probably more about just being out just being amongst all the people or the landscape if that's where I tend to be if I'm taking you know that kind of photography but it's just nice walking around and not snap snapping but actually wait until you actually see something that's worth taking a picture of there are a few people milling about but I don't think I'll get any interesting street photography out of it but we'll go back into the goods yard and potentially see if there's anything to um, take a picture of. Just stand around for five minutes, point the camera right. Yeah, there's lots of people, right? I'm sure I could get a shot or two from here just about being discreet right okay I'll conclude in a minute I'm just going to walk around here with the camera see if I can get some shots are back in town playing in the Knight's Tale. It's got nothing to do with medieval England. <laughs> now I know why I don't watch that kind of stuff. It's just, it's just not correct. <laughs> Thin Lizzie's boys are back in town on the Knight's Tale. Stop it. <laughs> we should be having green sleeves. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. That was a walk up and down the Harbour Arm, hopefully trying to capture um, some some shots of people. I was anticipating it to be a bit busier than it was actually. 
but it's great just getting out there doing some shots and you know having people look at you especially when you got your contraption on your chest looking like a bit of a dork but you know when you're a one-man camera crew and sound engineer and the star <laughs> of the show <laughs> god blimey okay thank you so much for watching um i guess i'll see you in another video sunday 23rd is Lydon hill racing it's classic cars and i intend to be there so i'm probably going to do a video i was thinking i might do two one about the motion with the cars but then also go into the paddocks and do street photography and that'll be a lot less hectic than this so watch out for that that's the plan unless it pours with rain in which case you won't see a video on the channel at all <laughs> bye for now thanks for bearing with i'll see you in another video